Hey, it's Ben from Machinery Partner. Next up on our equipment overview series is the ARC K-JC704 Jawcrusher. This machine is built and manufactured in Italy and is rebranded and sold all over the world under a few different names by well-known crushing brands. This mid-sized crushing unit is bigger than ARC's entry-level K-JC503 and can handle much bigger and tougher materials. This machine is still a fantastic option for those who are looking to get started with crushing, but need a little bit more as fun. But before we go any further, make sure you like and subscribe to the Machinery Partner YouTube channel so you don't miss out on more equipment review videos just like this one. Now let's get crushing. At the top of this machine, the Hardox lined vibrating hopper comes fitted with internal grizzly bars to remove any fines before they reach the jaw box. The jaw box itself is 27 by 16 inches wide, meaning it can crush 12 to 18 inch pieces of rocks, concrete, demolition waste, asphalt and stone down as small as 3 quarter inches. This is something you would normally need a much more expensive impact crusher to do. The jaw can also be opened up to crush as large as 3 and a quarter inches. Walking around this crusher you can see grease points, air filters, emergency stop buttons and the battery cutoff switch. You can also add spotlights as an optional extra which is perfect for working at night. Bay doors are located at the back of the machine and open to give 180 degree access to the Doosan tier 4 engine, cooling system, oil filters and diesel tank. Side panels on the crusher also give you access to the hydraulic system, fuses and batteries. The doors are fitted with special self-locking hinges to prevent them from accidentally swinging back during service and maintenance and can be closed by lifting the latch like this. As an optional extra, you can have the tracks fitted with rubber shoes every few track lengths. These help stop the tracks from tearing up concrete and asphalt as you're moving the machine around. The conveyor comes fitted with scrapers on the underside of the belt to help remove any material that is stuck on the return side so it doesn't go back into the machine. Around the conveyors and over the top of the jaw box, you can see spray bars for dust suppression. These come included as standard with this crusher when you buy from Machinery Partner and can be easily hooked up to the water mains. If you're working on a more remote site without access to a water supply, there is also an optional extra to install a water tank that feeds the dust suppression system. The main control panel is located on the side of the crusher. After turning the key, the engine will begin preheating and the display will automatically switch on. After the engine has warmed up, the machine can be fully turned on. Almost everything on this machine can be controlled through the main control panel, like opening and closing the conveyor. The metal removal magnet on the 704 can be hydraulically lifted up and down using the control panel too. This is important when removing different sizes of rebar or metal from your crusher run. For example, when you have large pieces of rebar, you want to raise the magnet up to make sure they aren't going to get stopped by the magnet. But for smaller pieces of metal, it is good to have the overband magnet as close to the conveyor as possible. The panel also allows you to turn the jaw on and off and adjust the jaw CSS or gap between the plates. Key stats of the jaw crusher such as the engine revs and any error codes will also be displayed on the center of the screen. Below the control panel are a few outlets that allow for software upgrades and diagnostics. There's even a USB port for charging the wireless remote or even your phone. The ARC 704 comes with a wireless remote as standard. To connect it, you must make sure the emergency stop is not pressed and that none of the switches are on. Then hit the green button on the back of the remote three times. The light will start to flash and the remote will pair with the machine. This remote controls the tracks, the jaw CSS, and can change the operation of the crusher into reverse mode to help to clear up any blockages inside of the jaw box. And if the wireless remote battery dies, this crusher comes with a dog lead remote which can be attached through this port. This wired remote is only to be used as a backup, as it can only operate the tracks. It also has an emergency stop button for safety. We found this machine to be really popular with paving contractors who are producing 3 quarter inch paver base and contractors who are upgrading from a smaller crusher to increase their output. If this sounds like you or you don't know where to start with crushing and screening, get in touch or check out our website at www.machinerypartner.com where we're more than happy to help you find the right machine. We also have a full range of jaw and impact crushers of all different shapes and sizes, as well as screeners and excavators to suit every business and budget. That's all for now, but if you want to see more videos like this, we have more from ARC and other manufacturers coming soon. Just make sure to subscribe and click the notifications bell, and YouTube will let you know when we post them. 
See you guys in the next one.